Hello and welcome to Beanworks University. This training video will explain how to create and code a purchase order in Beanworks. Once you're logged into Beanworks, click on the black side navigation bar and click on Create in the Purchase Order module section. If the purchase order fields in our example look different from yours, it's because Beanworks is configured to work specifically with your accounting solution. But the general steps in this lesson will be the same. OK, your first step is to fill out all fields in the PO Details panel. There are text and date fields to enter. In addition, some fields will be a list where you need to choose the correct item. Selecting a vendor is an example of this. To find the correct vendor, type in the name of the vendor on the purchase order to show the possible choices. If you turn Wildcard on, then you'll see all vendors that have your search term anywhere in the vendor name. Leaving Wildcard turned off will only show you results where the vendor name or number begins with your search term. You may also need to add a shipping or billing address to your purchase order. If the address you need is not already selected, then make sure to select it from the drop-down on the PO Details panel. OK, let's move forward to when you would have the side coding panel completed. Next, fill out the fields of the line items table. Again, there will be lists, texts, and amount fields for you to complete. You can tab through these fields, and if you keep tabbing to the end of the line, it will automatically create a new line for you, which is needed for POs with multiple lines. You can also press Add Line Item to add a new line at the bottom of your existing lines. If you want to add a row above or below a particular row that already exists, click on the existing row to highlight it, then under the Edit button, pick the correct Add option. To delete one or more rows, select them by holding down Control while you click the rows with your mouse. Then, press the Edit button and select Delete. A pop-up will display to confirm you want to delete the highlighted rows. This extra step will prevent deleting rows by mistake. If you need to split one row into multiple rows by a certain percentage or a certain number of equal parts, then we suggest you use our Split Rows button. To do this, select the row with the dollar amount you want to split, and under the Edit button, this time select Split Rows. The first option is to split the row by a series of percentages. So for example, if I want to split the original row into three line items, the first line I want to be 50% of the original, and the second and third 25%, thus making up the total of 100%. If you select Copy Coding Details, it will use the coding information you entered on the original line to each of the new line items. The second option is to split the row by equal parts. For example, I want to split this row into four equal parts. When I press Edit and Split, then I choose Equal Parts. This time, I'm not going to copy the coding details. Now, when I press Apply, I have four new lines, with four equal subtotal and tax values, but without coding details. Beanworks will round totals when required. The next thing you may want for your purchase order is to work with the images. Press the Add Pages option, and then select Backup to add extra pages to the PO. A good example of when you need to do this is an agreement with the supplier for the purchase order you're creating that needs to be associated with that order. Most commonly, you will choose to add these backup pages from a file you've saved on your computer. It's important to remember that pressing the Control button on your keyboard while you select pages will allow you to select multiple pages to perform an action to. You may want to rotate one or more pages or even delete some. This all happens by selecting them and using the Rotate or Delete buttons. You can reorder pages by dragging and dropping them. The final thing to remember when working with images is to save using one of the Save buttons whenever you've done changes, so that you don't lose anything you've done. If you want to download a PDF of the purchase order without any coding information, press the handy PDF button. At this point, you're likely finished working with the PO. You have three options. The most common is to submit the purchase order for approval. The purchase order is changed to Pending Approval, PA status, and will go to the staff members set up in this approval channel for review and approval. Another option is for partially completed purchase orders that you want to save to work on later. You can easily do that by pressing the Save button, which leaves the PO in the current status in your In Progress tab. Now the last option is that your tasks on the purchase order are completed, but you need to send it to someone else for them to do their part. In this case, you can write a comment if you need to justify why you're sending it to them. Then you simply click into the Owner drop-down field to reassign the PO to them. 
the purchase order is now in that user's in progress tab and they will receive an email notification that their attention is needed on that PO. Okay, that completes our lesson on coding purchase orders. Make sure you go and practice everything you just learned. Thank you for taking the time to watch this training lesson, and if you have any questions, please contact Beanworks Support at support at beanworks.com.